Hey, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's here once again, bringing you another action figure review of the DC Multiverse Wonder Woman Wave. And here we have Manelope, which goes to the Ares Collect and Connect Wave. Now, you only actually need four figures to complete this wave, but this was just kind of like an add-on. It gives him some, like, I guess, another sword and some flame effects for his sword. Uh, that's about it. I mean, I don't know. Let's go ahead and get her out and check this thing out so we can get to that Collect and Connect figure. Or let me just say it. Build a figure. I hate all the, you know, the copyright. We're just going to call them Build a Figures, man, because that's what they are. I don't like the Collect and Connect or... Whatever Dragon Ball Super called their stuff. It's just, I'm going to call it Build-A-Figures because that's what you're more or less doing. Holy crap. There's two swords in here. So I kind of want to pull, when I pull these out, I want to do a little bit of a comparison with them. Um, the original one. So she comes with a spear, which already, I like this spear better than the one that came with, you know, Queen Hippo. Because... Here's Queen Hippos, and then here's Manelope's. It's actually just pointed on the tip. Where this one's, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's the royal spear, I guess. So that's whatever. All right, she comes with a bow and an arrow as well. And of course, you know they make these bows with no strings or anything like that. Basically because they don't want kids to have projectile, you know. I mean, if, if it was on there and they would, they would have molded that to where it was always on there, you know, they just don't. <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying. Like, Mattel just didn't want to encourage projectile things, I guess. But yet, I don't know. I don't even want to get into that. So let's check out these swords here real quick, which is, man, these things are massive. And I'm pretty sure that these are even bigger, yeah, than his original sword. Yeah, quite a bit bigger. Yep. So this is his original sword, and these are the two that come with her, which are actually really cool, man. Uh, I'm not... I don't know, man. They're awesome. They're different, though. I'm not sure which one I like more. I guess they, they all three work. Or, well, they both work, because these are the same regardless, but, you know. All right. Let's look for rubber bands. None on this one. Big surprise there. There's only no rubber bands on this one because it didn't catch me off guard. So I wasn't looking for them in the air. Well, she is tiny uh, compared to everyone else. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, Manelope from the movie. Nah, uh, I thought that was the big chick. No, uh, she's not. I guess I'm thinking of Ragnarok, actually. That, you know, I'm talking about that big brute chick that... You know, what in the heck? Okay, <laughs> that's messed up looking. <laughs> okay, so on her hand here, there's a little hole in the middle of her hand, <laughs> you know, which is to port this arrow in. So that she could do, she could draw her arrow on her bow with no string so uh, that should be interesting to see like you can ever get their weapons in their hands here man they're just so freaking tight what the crap Mattel I don't even want to talk about you in a bad way right now like I said before in one of my videos you guys got them freaking uh, Master of the Universe Origins getting ready to come out. So I don't want to say anything because maybe if I'm lucky, 
you see that I'm doing reviews on toys, maybe you'll send me some free stuff to review. <laughs> but if I'm talking crap about your product, you're probably not going to want to do that. But you guys already know what you did wrong here with these toys. Basically, when you made these toys, you weren't you were thinking about toys, yes, but you were not thinking about collectors' perspectives. I don't think so. But yeah, that actually looks pretty cool, man, with her holding that arrow like that. So I guess if you wanted to make it look cool, you could take maybe even one of these stupid rubber bands that comes in there, put it on there, but I'm not going to. It, it's fine the way it is. I can live with that. It's just, if she's not holding that arrow, her hand looks really stupid. And is it me, or but does she have a big old butt on her? Look at that. But onk donk <laughs> It's just a sculpted thing, but I mean, God, it just makes her look like she's got a huge rump. Or does she have a huge rump? Ah, she kind of does. It's layered, and it's puffed out a little bit, but... <laughs> Oh, let's not get into too much detail about her butt. She stands. So that's another good thing. Just wish that elbow would get a little bit more range because, God, she just... No one fires a bow like that. Anyways. The swords. Are as big as she is taller even from end to end oh snap I forgot to put one of these up there for my next review well back to those fortnights actually the next review is going to be putting the areas together so uh, yeah let's go ahead and get to that anyways man there's not much else to say about Manelope here it's it's, it's not a terrible figure though so, uh, anyways, that's enough said about that. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And you're checking out Master Marvel on YouTube. I'm Master Marvel 80. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.